Reporting for Heart Rhythm TV, I'm Mehek Dandi, and I'm joined today by Dr. Mina Chun, cardiac electrophysiologist and professor of medicine at Cleveland Clinic, and the abstract chair for Heart Rhythm Society Scientific Meetings 2023. Dr. Chung, welcome. Thank you very much, Mehek. Of course. So the call for abstracts for HRS 2023 is now open. Very exciting. Uh, what are the formats of abstract presentations this upcoming year? And uh, is it correct that the traditional poster boards are back? Yes, absolutely. We're really excited about that. The abstracts are the heart of our annual meeting, and these are really integral to the advancement of our field. So this year, we're going to present uh, abstracts in one of three formats. There's the traditional oral abstract sessions, but we'll have moderated poster sessions too, which are going to take a slightly new format with rapid fire presentations, some Q&A to follow, and the opportunity to interact with the presenters at a poster board right after. And then there's the poster pavilion where the traditional poster board presentations will take place. And yeah, your sources are correct. The traditional <laughs> poster boards are backed by popular demand this year. We experimented with a touchless digital format and the silent theater technology last year in light of the pandemic. And some liked it, but some didn't. So what was clear is that many missed the personal in interactions and the conversations that come with the traditional poster board. So we're really happy to bring this back. And also look out for the posters at the end of the day with happy hour. Excellent. That uh, sounds like a great setup. And, you know, it's really great that we do take the feedback of our attendees and our members and, and take that into account moving forward. Uh, what categories of abstracts are we going to be looking at and who should be submitting their science? Well, um, you know, I think if you have any science to submit, please do submit it uh, because there are a lot of perks of presenting your abstract to HRS. Um, but anyway, we have uh, modified the categories for this year. Uh, every member of the care team has the opportunity to submit their science for Heart Rhythm 2023. There are 10 plus abstract categories that are new, and they include things like ablation, allied professionals, allied professionals plus EPs, basic translational science, uh, CIEDs, clinical EP, digital health, health economics and practice management, pediatric EP, adult congenital heart disease, provocative cases, and miscellaneous. So we've actually made the categories more inclusive. For example, what used to be catheter ablation is now ablation. And we've consolidated and streamlined our subcategories, of which there are 50. So for example, what used to be teaching case reports is now just one category that includes both uh, allied professionals and physicians who can submit uh, to these. And we also have separate subcategories for each role. Excellent. So there's something for everyone. Uh, and I can only imagine the value of presenting your science at this international largest society of EPs across the world. And I understand there are some monetary perks as well, correct, that are that the abstracts that are chosen for presentation will will enjoy. That's right. Thanks for bringing that up. You know, this is a real opportunity to share your science with your global peers at the world's largest and longest running annual in-person cardiac EP meeting in the world. So you'll be presenting not just to those attending in person, but thousands of virtual online attendees too. So in terms of these tangible benefits, the monetary benefits, the presenters of the selected abstracts will get 50% off of their registration fee, which could be a savings of up to like $1,175. And then keep in mind that HRS members get a $50 discount on their abstract submission fees. So um, the other thing is that your work will appear on um, in the open access on demand abstract catalog online, and it will be published in a supplement to Heart Rhythm Journal. There are also 10 prestigious Heart Rhythm Awards that abstract submitters are eligible to receive. And new this year is a DEI abstract award. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. There's no reason not to submit uh, your science if there's anything that our contributors would like to share. Uh, now, what are the deadlines and uh, some of the dates that our viewers and contributors should keep in mind and, and where can they find more information about the abstract guidelines? Great question. The call for science will conclude on December 5th, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. There's a handy abstract submission guide available online at heartrhythm.com slash abstracts. And you can also access the abstract submission link on this page as well. I, I recommend going through that abstract submission guide to everyone who's uh, 
considering submitting science this year. It'll absolutely increase your success rate. Uh, the guide includes tips for submitting your abstract, author designation instructions. It outlines all of the categories and subcategories, and it includes a helpful pre-submissions checklist. So please go submit your abstracts for consideration today, and I can't wait to see everyone in New Orleans in May. Thank you so much, Dr. Chung. So you heard it from our abstract chair. Uh, get your abstracts in before December 5th. Uh, more information on heartrhythm.com slash abstracts. And we'll see you in NOLA. Thank you.